Oh, sweet Mama Murphy. What have I done? This will be the first nuke I've ever launched, and I'm doing it all for you guys. That, and for the coveted Codebreaker badge, of course. Okay, let's hack right into that Codebreaker badge. First up, we have the exam. Terminals are located at various scout camps, and I'm here at Pioneer Scout Camp. If you need the exam answers, a link is in the description below. Next, we need to find some terminals to hack. 12 to be exact, and we need to find three of each skill level. One thing you can't do is just go to one terminal of each skill level and server hop in order to hack it three times. Also, with the personal terminal, if you play with friends, they can lock theirs up at their camp for you, and you can hack it at each varying skill level, and have them just lock it back up again after each successful try, which would make this part able to be done in under 15 minutes. I play solo 90% of the time, so this isn't much of an option for us antisocial soloers out there. With that said, I'm going to show you 12 terminals you can hack, three of each varying levels. Let's breeze through these locations quickly, starting with level zeros, no perk cards needed. Landview Lighthouse. We're going inside the house, not the tower, lower level ghouls nearby, really easy to server hop. Camp McClintock, no enemies around. You wanna go straight in the front door, to the left, up the stairs, and into the office. Abby's Bunker, popular location, oftentimes already unlocked when I get here. It's right outside the front door. Level one terminals, we need one hacker perk card. All of these places are mostly in the Meyer region, starting with Sunday Brothers Cabin. There's random enemies here. The terminal's in the workshop outside. Haven Church, leveled enemies here, mostly scorched or ghouls. You wanna go through the side door and into the office with the blue door. Well, that was easy. North and up the road, we have Crevice Dam. Level super mutants here. It's a great spot all around. In the front door and up the stairs at this desk, we have our next terminal. This one was a little tricky for me, and if it's ever a problem for you, before you use your last guess, you can just exit out and start over again. Level two terminals, we're gonna need two perk cards equipped. First up, Sense of Dane Compound, in the farmhouse, upstairs and in the bedroom, lots of enemies around. Easy terminal. Appalachian Antiques, right inside the lefternmost door and at the counter. It's normally home to bugs and ghouls and scorched. Clarksburg Gun Shop. From the shooting range towards the bus and left in this building here, you're gonna find your terminal right behind this counter. Level three terminals, you're gonna need all three hacker perk cards equipped and a minimum level of 38. First up is Grafton Dam, easy spot, lower level super mutants around, it's right out front. Garen Estate, in the second level, I believe, in the gun range room. And there are a lot of robots around. And finally, Poseidon Energy Plant. This terminal is located right outside the workshop area. Actually, I'm pretty sure each energy plant has a level three terminal to override the shutdown. And that leaves us with the daunting task of launching a nuke. This portion might have some end of game spoilers, but if you wanna earn that badge, we're gonna to have to get our hands just a little dirty. There are so many video guides and resources that I followed to help me through this part, so I'm not gonna give you the full walkthrough as that would be a whole other video. 
Instead, I'll just give you the basic steps needed to finish the task. I've linked the video I found most useful in the description that also gives you the breakdown of how to solve the codes if you didn't want to look up the launch codes of the week online. Thank you ZZ Fuzzy so much for the info, it's been super helpful. In whichever silo you choose, you do need to first have a nuclear launch key card to actually launch a nuke. The nuclear code fragments you find off of Scorched and Gould officers are the encrypted pieces you need to decrypt the launch code if you want to try and hack the code yourself. Both of these you can find through the quest Hide, Seek, and Destroy given in the Enclave Bunker. After you decipher the code and get your keycard, we have to make our way through the launch site, which will start the quest Mission Countdown. This was my first time down here, and I did this as a solo silo run. It took me quite a while, as I wasn't familiar with the place. There are a lot of steps involved to this portion, like finding an old biometric ID card, wiping the ID card, getting a biometric scan, and inputting the data onto your new key card. That, and you have to be moving through the facility while fighting off tons of robots. Once you get to the reactor, you'll have to shut down the reactor, repair the reactor pipes, and restart the reactor and make your way to the control room after that. Now when you finally make it to the control room, you need to break down the mainframe, find new cores, or collect the broken ones and repair them, and then replace each core, all while trying not to get pummeled by robots so you can finally head through the huge security door to the launch silo. We're almost there! Alright, last control room. We need to initiate launch prep and defend the section chiefs during launch prep from a bunch of gutsies, assaultrons, and other robots. If one happens to get destroyed, you can replace them with the terminals in the side rooms. When all that is said and done, it's time for launch. First by inserting the nuclear keycard, then inputting our decrypted code, and finally choosing a spot to nuke. You can call me sentimental, but I chose the area outside Wavy Willards purely because it was the first nuke zone I had ever visited when I started playing post-beta. That and White Springs was already taken. <sighs> we got it! You know. I don't really think launching nuclear warheads is very scoutsman-like, but who am I to argue with my scout leaders? Again, for a much more in-depth walkthrough of launching nukes, I recommend ZZ Fuzzy's video. And now that our nukes have been launched, you two should have a shiny new badge. Wear it with pride, my little tadpoles. So if this is your first nuke, where are you planning on launching it, or where did you launch your very first nuke at? Let me know in the comments below. Some of these badges are more difficult and pretty grindy, especially the possum badges, which I'm working on guides for soon. Be sure to subscribe to catch the next one, and leaving a like is always appreciated. Until next time, bye!